Hi, my name is Anissa. I would like to share to you guys about life cycle assessment of instant noodle. So, let's begin! Okay, so we go to content of my video. So, the first is introduction. Second, life cycle of instant noodle. Third is impact of environment. And four is mitigation. Okay, so we go to the introduction. Instant noodle were invented by Momofuko Ando of Nissan Food in Japan. They were launched in 1958 under the brand name Chicken Ramen. In 1971, Nissan introduced cup noodle, the first cup noodle product. Instant noodle are market worldwide under many brand names. Ramen, a Japanese noodle soup, is sometimes used as a descriptor of instant noodle flavor by some Japanese manufacturer. It has become synonymous in the United States for all instant noodle products. Due to diversity of instant noodle, they can be used as an alternative to typical long noodle. They are used to make dishes such as ramen, Korean army, stew, and even chow mein. So, instant noodle actually have a few types, which is in cup, bowl, and also the individual. Next, we go to the instant noodle material. Instant noodle actually high in sodium and MSG, and lower in fiber, calorie, and also the so we go to the top five global demand of instant noodle. First is China, second is Indonesia, third is India, fourth is Japan, and the fifth is Vietnam. So Malaysia is the number fourteen in this list. Now we go to the top three per capita consumption of food noodle. So China listed for a number one. Followed by Vietnam with 7.03 serving, and the net is India. So, that is for introduction for instant noodle. Next, we go to the life cycle of assessment of instant noodle. Five life cycle of assessment of instant noodle. So, first one is raw material, second, manufacturing, third, packaging or distribution. Fourth is use of instant noodle, and the last is end of life for instant noodle. The first is raw material. So to produce instant noodle, we need to put some raw material, which is oil, salt, flour, water, potato starch, and also the seasoning. Next, we go to the manufacturing processing. So, the first step to processing instant noodle is noodle production. Start with dissolving the salt, starch, and flavoring in water to form a mix that is then added to the flour. Second step is resting. So, the dough is then left for a period of time to mature. Then, for even distribution of the ingredient and hydrating of the particles in the dish needed. This process is repeated to develop gluten more easily as the shade in float and pass through the roller several times. So, Webby noodles are made in a slow pace, convenient bed and are hidden by metal weight and coming out of the center, which give the noodle its wavy appearance. So, this will create the string and chewy texture found in instant noodle. When the noodle bed is made to the desired thickness, by adjusting the gap in the roll. Now, we go to the fifth step, which is shopping. If the stand are to be moved into a shape, liquid seasoning can be added as well. Cut into one serving size with 
for moving to a fryer or drying. This is the last step, which is drying noodle. Add dry noodle are dry for 30 to 40 minutes in hot air at a temperature of 70 to 90 Celsius, resulting in a moist content of 8 to 20 percent. So we moving on to the third life cycle of instant noodle, which is packaging and distribution. Instant noodle was provide three packaging, which is individual cup and also bowl. So the instant noodle now are ready to distribution to the retailer and the consumer. Next, we go to the distribution transportation. The first is factory. So factory produce instant noodle. Next, we go to the transportation. Transportation which is lorry. Lorry actually high consumption of chemical energy such as burning gasoline for transportation purposes. Next, we go to the supermarket. So, supermarket actually selling instant noodles to consumer. So, consumer use instant noodles for their daily life. So, we go for use of instant noodles. Use of instant noodles. Actually, instant noodles replace carbohydrates such as rice and bread. Next, instant noodles are combined quick and cheap food that is well loved by busy person such as student. Now, we go to the last step of life cycle of instant noodle, which is end of life. The packaging of the instant noodle, which is styrofoam cup and plastic, then dispose into the landfill and some being recycled for another purposes, it is estimate 25 billion of styrofoam waste being thrown away per year, it is the end of the instant noodle life. Next, impact of environment. Instant noodle can affect environment with plastic packaging are hard to recycle. As we know, plastic actually likewise large greenhouse gases when they are reveal the ultraviolet radiation. Factory generally produce a lot of waste which could hurt people, health and the environment. Climate change or global warming can be attributed to our reliance on industrial activities. Now we go to the mitigation or solution. Instant noodle packaging actually can recycle, recyclable and biodegradable packaging. Next, to avoid use bowl instant noodle packaging, we should carry our own reusable bowl and plate. When we comparing similar instant noodle from two brands, choose the one of less packaging. The next solution is very easier for us, which is cook our noodle at home. And the last one is reuse the material instead of dampling them. I hope you guys can get some information from my instant noodle video. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, also subscribe our channel. Thank you.